Hi, so in a previous section we, we talked about the model and data access. In this section we are going to talk more about how to edit, delete and create uh, data in our store. So we are going to do this by making uh, the store manager controller. We can go ahead and add it. So con making controller, add controller. MVC5 controller with views using NT framework here. Just click add. And for the model class, take it to be item. And here is the database to be shopping store entities. And make here the name to be. Just take this store manager. Click add. See, we we are taking advantage of the scaffolding mechanism in the MVASB.NET MVC. Our does it creates us create for us a store manager controller right here with all this code, and it also creates us a folder here, store manager, and it uh, puts a create and delete and detail HTML pages for each one of them. Uh, so one thing to remember though is this code was. Uh, generated for us our code we are expected to uh, modify it so let's go ahead and modify here the index in the index of html let's delete here the item url as we don't need the user to see the item url and let's delete here also this one Now let me show you how this works. Let's just run it. So as you can see here, it, it showed us the uh, items that we have in our store. It showed us the speakers here, the lamp, and if we click like edit, we get the category ID. We can choose whatever category we have. What is the producer ID? Uh, like we can choose the producer actually, not just producer ID. We can just make it producer. But all right, you get the point actually. Uh, here's the name of the uh, thing that we want. We can change the name, the price, and if we want to create a new one, we can just take the category here, producer, a title, a price, item, art URL. So you get the picture now. So let's take a look at the store manager controller again. I will go. I will go through with you into um, the create method, and you can find the edit and delete method uh, similar to it. So you can just uh, get a grab on it. So let's go ahead and start with the create. So as you can see here in the uh, index method in the store manager controller, it retrieves us a uh, the uh, list of category, the list of items with each one with its category and the producer. Same as we did in the store controller here. If you went to the here, as you see here, it's like uh, it showed us the uh, no here, the uh, category which category. So it, uh, it's following the same pattern, and the, the details also is following the same pattern as the store controller that we did before. So let's start with our create method here. So as you can see here, when we go here and create new. A uh, drop down list here from the category we can choose which category and uh, which producer. And you see here, all of those are empty. So, this, this is like an HTTP get um, request to the server. So, it shows us the uh, categories that we have, the producer that we have. And if we like put here like something else, like, um, like a title here, like a uh, new speaker. So, and price here too, and item URL, whatever. Uh, and let's press create. So, what is this happening? It's making a post, uh, HTTP post request to the server. As you can see here, it, it was already done here. So, the, the ASP MVC uh, is really um, convenient about this because it, may, it allows us to have two create methods for the uh, HTTP uh, get and HTTP post. As you can see here, there is a attribute here for the HTTP post uh, method for the create uh, for the create here. 
And as if we look here, we can see like the view pack uh, category ID. Uh, we actually used uh, the view pack earlier, uh, but uh, we haven't talked much about it. So the view pack uh, basically allows us to pass information to the view without using a strongly typed model object. And also the view bag is a dynamic uh, object, meaning that you can type like uh, view bag dot uh, whatever uh, without writing code to define those properties. In this case, uh, the controller code uses the view bag category ID and um, view bag producer ID, so that the drop down uh, values submitted to with the four uh, will be category ID and producer ID, which are the item properties uh, they will be setting. So, as you can see here in the action method code, three parameters are being used to create the, uh, this object. Uh, here, the list of uh, items uh, of, of the drop down list will be displayed, uh, and the other one, the next parameter, is the, um, is the selected value, and here is the name uh, of that uh, value. So now let's take a look at the uh, view here to see how that works. So if we go to create here. So as you can see here, here is our create HTML page. And here is our drop down list. It shows us from the category ID. Now let's go to the store manager for, uh, controller again. It's just, yeah, let's close actually all of those. So as you can see here for the our HTTP post for the create method here. It does us three things. It, uh, it reads the form values and it checks if the values are valid. It saves the changes and show, uh, shows them back to us. All right. So what is this binding thing here? So when the controller action is processing a form submission that includes values for category ID, producer ID, down list and text box uh, values for title, price, and item URL. While well, it's possible to directly access form values, a better approach is to use the model binding, which uh, is basically when a controller action takes a model type as a parameter, uh, the MVC will attempt the SB MVC will attempt to populate an object of that type using form in input as well as um, uh, root query string values. It does this by looking for values whose names match properties of the model. Let's say, for example, when setting the new item object category ID value, it looks for an input with the name category ID. When you create views using the standard method in ASB MVC, the form will always be rendered using property names as input field names. So this, uh, so this is the field names will uh, will just match up, all right. So for our validation here, we haven't added any validation rules yet for uh, our item class. But uh, if the if we when we add this in the next section, and if the user inputs uh, some data and it passes the validation, so uh, in uh, in Super framework, all it all we need to do is to add this item and to save the changes. Just right here, just uh, just plain simple. And let's take a look at the edit here. And as you can see here, the edit also have a uh, an, a get and a both method for the uh, edit. So if the user uh, have no ID, so ID is null. It's a it's a bad request. So if we go ahead and like run, let's just build this one, and let's run it. So let's say, for example, here, let's get into edit. So if we do this and like delete this one, it shows us a bad request. This is just here, right here, it shows us a bad request. But it, if it does uh, have an ID, if, it, if it's not null, so uh, it will show us the uh, category name and ID for that item. As you can see here, if we want to edit, so we can do the the post method. We can get into if the if uh, the rules uh, for the validation passes. So let's uh, make the modification and save the changes. And then we can just uh, return the view of that item. 
and for our delete method here we actually don't need a uh, delete post we can just like delete uh, we have only a delete method and uh, but we have a delete confirm method also so for the delete here if we have also have a like don't have an id it would show us a bad request but if it's the right is the right id we can just make the if we check for the user for, for the confirmation of the delete and we remove the item from the database and save the changes and then return back to the index page just take a look at that let's just return back here and if we like delay this one here and we press delete and here it return us to our index page here so yeah let's see this again and that's uh, that's it for this section Hope you guys enjoyed and learned and if you have any question or any problem just let me know i'll try to answer them all uh, thank you and see you in the next section and one last thing to tell you guys i really do appreciate you guys commenting and sharing and subscribing my videos and thank you for that i will be adding a uh, reviewing a feature to my website so users can uh, review each item and product in our website Got the same amount of shares and subscribes and likes. I want you guys to decide what other features should we do with the website. Again, thank you guys. I hope to see you in the next section.